I am so excited. So, I have made this, and I literally made it one day, and it's super sweet, super easy. Okay? I'm going to have to back out a little if I'm going to show you this whole thing. Now, hold on. We are going to, if you're interested, you're going to hang tight. I'm going to give you a tutorial on how I made this. Um, simple ribbon closure. Uh, I've got my... Oh, oh. Well, I had my picture somewhere, but um, you can, I'm going to put a picture here. This is for me, for my grandbaby, um, but super sweet. This was made with my mind's eye boy crazy paper pad. Um, I did use all 24 sheets. I had this left. I had actually, I used 23 sheets. Um, I used all, almost all my scraps. And I did cut out the two pages of uh, little things that they had. So, um, so I had I used almost everything of the 12 by 12 pad. But anyway, uh, you can get about 25, almost four by six pictures in here. Um, got little pads. This is pretty wild paper, but. You know, once your photos are up, you're really not going to see much of it. So, uh, I'm just showing you this. Okay, make it easy for me. Um, and, of course, more of these little things can be put on, and I just figured since it's mine, I'll just... This was just a scrap of paper I used some of my scraps on. Um, but I figured, you know, it's for me. And this is a paper bag album. So, and all of these, the pictures will go up on. I'm making sure I was in frame here. But just super sweet. Super sweet. Okay. And then that's the back. And this is just cardstock, um, the, the album. But once you get front and back covers on, it's pretty substantial. Anyway, let me tell you what you're going to need. You know, kind of the, the necessities. I, for that one, I used all glue. I, I didn't use any um, score tape, so you don't have to have score tape. But if you have like a eighth of an inch score tape, it, it will be handy to have. I am going to use it on this one. Um, but uh, a good adhesive anyway. Uh, bone folder, you know, I think you use some scissors to cut the ribbon paper cutter and I'm using this as my scoreboard so you don't have to have a score thing. Uh, I do have this little thumb punch from Me Are Memories Keepers. We are memory keepers and I did use this for some of the tags. You don't have to have either one of these um, so, but that's what I used. Okay, and this one is um, Marvy. Okay, I've had that one for eons. Um, okay, so you're going to need four paper bags. Now I am using, let's see where I stick those, to celebrate it, uh, three and a half by two by six and three quarters. So, and I need four of those. Uh, you're going to need a six by six pad. Now I am using the My Mind's Eye My Girl paper collection for this one. And this is the scraps from cutting out all the papers that I was going to need, which will go into tags. Now, uh, well, let me get on to the next one and then I'll tell you. Okay, so what we're going to need, four pages of coordinating cardstock. I used this bright pink that you just saw, a six by six pad. Um, for the celebrated bags. Um, you're going to need four 6x5 uh, from the uh, pattern paper. So four 6x5. <coughs> you're going to need one 4x5. That's your spine. The four 6x5s is for your inside and outside covers. So the, you know, the front and the back. Um, I, about a yard of ribbon. I got the this bright pink. 
You're going to need 8, 6 by 4 and 3 quarters. You're going to need 8, 6 by 4 and a half. So that's 6, well, it's 6 by 4 and 3 quarters and 6 by 4 and a half, 8 of each. For the cardstock, you're going to need 4, 6 and a quarter by 4 and 3 quarters. You're going to need 2, 5 and a half by 4 and a quarter. And you're going to need 2, 7 and a half by 5 and a quarter. Um, on that one, the seven and a half, you're going to, on the seven and a half side, you're going to score at six and a half. And there was another score I didn't give you. Oh, on the one four by five, which is your spine, um, on the four inch side, you're going to score at one and a half. Now, I will have all of this in the description box below, so you don't have to, uh, to do anything, but just kind of letting you know. Okay. So now, how I am preparing the paper bags, I've done two for you already. First thing I'm doing is I'm opening up the bottom. Of course, this is the first one I've had that's ripped. It's like, really? I've done, what, six of them now this way? Seven, because I did a practice run. So we're going to open these bags up all the way. And at the crease, with this gusset, when you open it up, the crease is what we're doing right now. I'm going to use my little, my print, um, this machine right here as my tabletop for this. Okay, so I've kind of got it all open. Now I'm going to cut off. I need to widen you out just a bit more so you can see everything I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to cut off about an eighth of an inch because I don't like the rough edged. If you like it, leave it. Um, and then here I am going to measure over a six and a half and cut. Then I'm going to push this back a quarter of an inch and I'm going to use the cutting guide and cut a score at a quarter of an inch. I'm going to flip it once and I'm going to put this on a half an inch past my where my cutting guide, where my blade goes and I'm going to score. Now you can do this on your scoreboard. I'm just, for time's sake, I'm just doing it right here. Score a half an inch on this side. So a quarter of an inch on your six and a half side. And then this is five and a half across. You're going to uh, score a half an inch. Okay? So we got to do that twice. So you get to watch me do it twice. So we're going to rip that side open. And we're going to rip this side open. And then we're going to open the bag all the way up. And this, these two inside gusset is the ones that we're going to fold out. And that way we're getting the full extent of the paper bag. And then we're just going to try and smooth everything down. We're going to cut off about an eighth of an inch, flip it around, we're going to put it at six and a half, slide in there, there we go, put it at six and a half, and cut it off. I'm going to slide it over, and I'm going to score half an inch. Again, you can use your scoreboard. I'm just saving time here. And then flip it to the five and a half inch side and at a half an inch, I'm scoring. There we go. Okay. And I believe Oh, and then you want to first take out all of your pages and take this off. Okay.
take all of these off of every one of your pages and it'll make it go so much quicker. Alrighty? Okay. And this is the my little things that I'm going to use for later. So, anywho. Alright, so I think we're done with this. Let me get this out of the way without bumping. Okay, so now the first thing I'm going to do is open this gusset back up and fold my score lines. Now, one of them is going to be an innie and one of them is going to be an outie. I, I always think of belly buttons when I think of score marks. Um, one is going to be in a valley and one is going to be in a mountain. And I'm just lightly, and I'm going to push that, uh, that gusset that we just folded out, I'm going to push that back in because I'm making a new gusset for this page instead of having one that was like an inch deep. I'm just creating one in the bag. I want these to be even so that, that both edges are going to land together. Okay. And then I'm going to take and hold these together and just make sure that I have that that. Okay, I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to, ah, sticking to my fingers. I'm going to just on the quarter of an inch side, I'm not, uh, I don't want it to go in to where the, to where the pocket's going to be, but just on the quarter of an inch and right here. And while I'm waiting for that dry, I'm also going to find where the bag is put together at. And I'm going to make sure that these little edges both on the outside and the inside are glued together so that they they don't stick. Nothing sticks to them or anything. So now with this glue this is pretty much dry and I'm going to fold everything over and get my nice quarter inch and this is my hinge. Okay and so at this point it's double thick and it's you know, these bags are pretty strong. I think that is not quite where I wanted it folded. Now these bags are pretty strong, so... They will do just fine. Alright, and then I'm going to take... Um, now this is not anything you have to do, so if you don't have the score tape, don't go out and buy it just for this. You can use your glue um, just for uh, speed for this video. I'm using the score tape. Alright, again we're going to score, I mean uh, fold on this score mark. I'm not flattening it out, I'm just kind of lightly, lightly pressing it, poke that back in and bring over the other side. I'm just going to lightly press and make sure that, and I'm going to play with it until I've got it where it's going to be coming together and be fairly even. Because you know how we don't like those bags that are really off. Well, since we're making our own gusset, why not work on making it just as clean as we possibly can. So, let me, I didn't show you this to you yet. So you have a gusset on, I mean, a, a little V. This comes straight. This There's no, there's no little end of the bag on this side, just on this side. And it gives you a nice opening but yet gives you a nice flat surface here. 
All right, and uh, let me glue this down. Again, be very, very careful not to get past the quarter inch. So it doesn't take much glue to glue all these together. Get enough on there. Okay, yeah. And you just don't want, because then if you get it up past that score mark and get it into your pocket, then you're just not going to have, you're not going to be happy with your results. Okay, and then while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to check and make sure that this is glued all the way. Oops. And there. And then in here. There we go. I'm going to come back here and get my nice fold in. This is what takes the most time. The rest of it goes together bam, bam, bam. And makes cute gifts. I think these will be really super sweet. Okay, and then the eighth of an inch score tape on there, and that will be all ready to go. Okay. So there we go. There's our four bags. And you can do more than four bags if you so like, but then it will require more than an eighth of an inch. Um, and now one thing that I did do that I didn't do this time, but it really doesn't matter, is I put one of these gussets, I flipped them. I put one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the top, one at the bottom, but then I thought, you know, they're not that big. I think I'm just going to leave them all. So for you guys, I've got them all at the bottom. And that will give it two different distinct areas for them to sit in. That's all I was thinking. Okay. I'm um, going to put the bags to the side. And now I've got my covers. Okay. And I'm going to fold my two pieces in. Now I'm not going to fold them all the way over because they don't need to fold that. This is my front and back cover and my spine. Okay, and they only need to fold this far. They do not need to fold any farther than that. So everything that I can do to keep them uh, as stiff as possible is great. So now I'm just going to set one on top of the other. I'm going to line them up and glue them together. So just on one of these. And we're just going to do this. Line it up. Make sure it's actually going down into the crease. down into this crease and then it's and that is going to help stiffen it up a little bit and you want to make sure it gets all the way to this edge as well so that it doesn't stick up uh, okay so there is basically our cover I'm going to take some ribbon because I want to be able to tie this closed and just kind of get myself two pieces that I think are going to give me a nice little tie and I'm going to find my center I'm just going to eyeball it I was a little off on the one I made for myself but yep it uh, still turned out quite nice. Okay, make sure it's nice and straight. And then I'm going to flip this over. Line my edges of my covers up. Put some glue down. 
lay this ribbon lining it up with this one. There we go. Now the ribbons are on. Now I'm going to take, this is what I've chosen for my front cover. And for right now I'm going to go ahead and glue this side. Now if you want to ink these, go right ahead. Um, I don't because they are white. I'm not inking them. Um, because I don't want them distressed in, in any way. Um, that's, you know, just not what these are about. These are basically little photo albums, brag books, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to get this nice and even. There we go. Very good. Now we're going to do the back one. I just finished my Christmas mini one and that was so long I thought, you know what? I just need to do something quick and fun. Not that that wasn't fun, but I've been planning to do this for a while now. And I thought, you know what? Now's a good time to do it. Besides, I've been waiting to put photos in mine um, for my little boy. We had him over... Uh, two weeks ago and did it like a big birthday bash for everybody because we'd not really been around for everybody's birthday so we did a big birthday bash and it was a lot of fun so this does not look incredibly straight to me let me double check Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold this side. This is going to be the side that's going to go here. I want to make sure that it's going to overlap enough. Yeah. And then it's going to go on the back side but once I get this down. Now, if you've got your score tape, you can totally do this, and for purposes, I am going to at least put one all the way across. There we go. And then I'm going to put, but like I said, I did all of this with glue. It's just you got to stand there and hold it a little bit longer with glue. And it's always nice to pull the score tape backing off prior to putting the glue on so you don't stick your fingers in all the glue. <laughs> and there we go. Okay. A little glue on my finger. So I'm going to push this like this. I'm going to line this up with my paper. Oop. Don't push it down line it up with my paper first. Now make sure I've got it in the corner. Lined up with my paper. And then I'm going to get that... Oh shoot! I did not do that very well. Is that right on? There we go. Okay. I'm going to open this up real quick. Just get that pushed down in there. Now, you do not want to glue the rest of this down just like this because then it won't work very nicely for you. And I didn't put another score mark in it because no matter how hard I try, I've never been able to get it just right. It's always been a little off and then it wouldn't work very nicely for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue. Whoops on 
this part, touch it down, pull it away. Now I know where I can put glue all along here. Especially get it on those corners. Okay. So now I'm going to hold it like this and I'm going to lay it over. And I want that to get good and stuck. Put a little bit too much glue, it's oozing out on me. I want this to get good and stuck before I go to do the back end of this. But you know, if you go through and you pre cut all your pages, this goes together so fast. If you uh, wake up that morning and say, oh my gosh, I didn't do a gift for so and so, or I'd really like to thank somebody and what could I do really fast. This goes together pretty fast. So now I'm going to just put glue on the rest of this. Making sure I'm getting it in those corners, you know, in the creases. So now I'm going to Bring this around, go top and bottom, making sure I'm getting a good crease. And I got a little cochlea-eyed here, so let's well, and it's going to be that way. But I'm going to put ribbon down; nobody will notice it, just like I did with this one. I didn't have this problem with this one, but with the ribbon, you can't tell. You'll just make it work. Okay, so now there is very wild. Like I said, this paper pack is, is very wild. These two I got at the same time. All right, so now um, pretty much want to let that dry a minute before we start doing anything else. So now let me do, well let me put these down because we'll do these later. Uh, for the four pockets, here's the tags. And that, yeah, okay. So these are four in the four pockets. Um, of our bags. Alright, so I just kind of randomly grab these and cut them. look great on that pink. Now let me tell you the tags are six and a quarter by four and three quarters and the mats are six by four and a half. I don't really do a whole lot of rhyme or reason with these. I just kind of, well for the pages, let me tell you how I did it. For the pages, I go through and I kind of pick my favorites. And I will show you those when we get to that point. I kind of pick my favorites out. And um, that's what I use for the pages. Because those are the ones you're going to see the most of. They're right there. Even though, once you put pictures in these, because they're so small, you know, the, the whole... The, there's going to be parts of the page that still show. But for the most part, it's going to be covered up. But, it's one of my favorite uh, pages, you know, papers. So that's why I want to do this so you guys can see a little better. Basically, just kind of centering. I did put paper on both sides. Isn't that stinking cute? 
This one I used twice because I like it so much. The other ones, and this one's just kind of dull and boring on the back, but yet it was still kind of wild. I don't know. Okay. There's that. Get another one out. And this is really cute paper, but I'm using it Oops, let's see. Yeah, nothing yet. Just want to make sure you have to make sure that you're, you know, paying attention to if there's an upside or downside. Um, most of these papers don't. You know, it doesn't really matter if you cut it from the left to right, top to the bottom. It's it's all going to kind of work. But there were a few. For a few, you didn't get it just right, it would be kind of funny or you wasted a page. There's that one. And last. And since this is a horizontal, you know, all the pictures will be going in or horizontally, so it's a horizontal. Uh, kind of, you know, versus a vertical book. Um, that's a little crooked. Boy, this this glue grabs pretty quick. Um, so I like my zigzags to go horizontally. I, I, I'm not, you know, this kind of zigzag is just a little too, a little too strange. So that was about you know, and then obviously if it's if it's verbiage, if you're looking at it, you want it to go the way you're going to read it, so. Alright, so there are the tags done. Okay, so I'm going to put these back over here. This is nice, I say nice and dry. I'm still not going to open it up as much as I have to. Now I'm going to take and do my bags. I'm going to... I kind of messed up on this one, but I didn't want to waste the bag, so... And it's just all to, down to the bottom. I'm just putting a little bit of glue on to make sure that it gets... I'm going to center it. And I'm going to put it close to the front here center top and bottom and I'm going to push it down right there oops yeah. yeah I'll tell you if you want it to be straight don't ask me to do it there that's better okay 